Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 3.5a of our virtual geometry text on triangles. We're going to be looking at how to prove that two triangles are congruent. We're going to be looking at problems such as the one that's presented here, determine if the two triangles marked in a certain kind of configuration are congruent. And if they are, then you state why that why they are congruent. All right. Don't forget we have six practice problems at the end of this tutorial that we'd like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this demo um, presentation. To gain access to Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Pre-Calc, and Calculus courses, take a look at the links in the description below or just visit our website at mathgoodserve.com. All right, so how do you prove that two triangles are congruent? Well, there are four sequence of corresponding congruent sides that can be used to accomplish this. Okay, so let's write them down. These are the sequence of corresponding congruent parts. Okay, so the word sequence is really important because the order is extremely important. Alrighty, so we have um, side, 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 SSS, side, 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 SSS, you also have um, SAS, which is side, angle, side, and then you have ASA, which is angle, side, angle and then lastly you have angle angle side AAS okay angle angle side so these are the sequence of corresponding congruent parts that can be used to prove that two triangles are congruent okay so 1S, for example, means that a pair of corresponding sides are congruent. And then another S means the next pair of corresponding sides are congruent. And then the last S means the last pair of corresponding sides are congruent. So you have SSS, okay? SAS, you have a sequence of a side, angle on the side. The angle has to be between the two sides. In that configuration, the two triangles where they are congruent. And then that means that the two triangles are congruent. And they have angle side angle where the side is included and they have angle angle side okay so these are the ones that can be uh, used to prove that um, two triangles are congruent so these are the yeses okay now there are two sequence of corresponding congruent parts that cannot be used okay so do not try to prove congruency with these two cannot be used. So this is a warning. You cannot use AAA, -A -A. okay? Angle, angle, angle is not a valid way to show that two triangles are congruent. And then number two comes in two orientations. It could be side, side, angle, or angle side side all right so these cannot be used these are a no-no so do not try to uh, prove that two congruent uh, triangles are congruent using aaa or ssa all right you can only use sss sas asa and aas all right let's take a look at some examples all right so the instructions for the examples are to determine if the two mark triangles are congruent is so explain why using uh, angle side angle side angle side 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 or angle angle side okay so let's look at number one so what we're going to do is we're going to look at, at the corresponding sides um, that are marked um sides and angles and then see if it follows any of these configurations here if it does then um we'll know that the two triangles are congruent based on these uh, congruency theorems all right so if you look at this triangle right here we have Okay, let me just mark these two sides here. Okay, so we have um, a pair of angles right here. So this angle and this angle, they both have one arc on them. 
So that counts as an A. Alrighty, so we have an A. Now we want to follow the sequence of sides and angles. All right, so we have an A, an angle here, and an angle here that counts as A. Now, what's next? What comes next? We're going in what orientation now? So you can either go in the clockwise orientation, sorry, yeah, clockwise, or you can go in the counterclockwise orientation. All right, so now we have an angle pair. And the next given information is a side. So you can clearly see that we're in this particular case, we're going to be going in the clockwise direction. All right. So in this triangle, we're going clockwise. In this triangle, also, we are going to be going clockwise. So we have an angle there, and I have another angle here. So these are the same. Okay. And then now we have one tick mark here and one tick mark. What does that mean? That means that this side right here is congruent to this side right there following the same order these are corresponding sides okay and then we have this 90 degrees this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees what are, what are those those are angles so this is a so following the counterclockwise order I mean the clockwise order we have ASA here and here also we have ASA all right so are these two triangles congruent yes they are congruent how do we know that they're congruent? By the angle side angle congruency theorem. Okay, so by the ASA, we know that these two triangles are congruent. So just remember, you want to keep track of the sequence of the letters. Make sure you're following the same orientation in both triangles, either clockwise or counterclockwise. But in this case, we're going clockwise. Okay, let's look at number two. Look at the marking of the sides. So let's start with uh, this side. Let's start with the first side. So this side right here. So we have an S. So this side, S for this triangle. Let's mark, call it S for this triangle. All right, so we have a pair of congruent sides. Good. Now it can either be SAS or SSS. Now, what do we have next that's marked? We have these two sides that are marked here. So these two sides are congruent. So we have S. Now, do you notice the orientation that we're going in? We are we're going in the counterclockwise orientation in this triangle, so we better be going in the same orientation with this triangle, okay? So we have side, side. Now, these two sides are exactly the same. So what based on this sketch, we know that these two sides are exactly the same side. So we have side, side, side on this triangle going in the counterclockwise orientation, side, 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 Whoop. and then over here we have side, 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 the same orientation, so we're going counterclockwise, and then in this one too we're going counterclockwise, and we have S, 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 and in the same order here, S, 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 so that shows that these two triangles are what? They are congruent. How do we know that they're congruent? By the S, S, S congruency uh, theorem okay all right now let's take a look at question number three now are these two triangles congruent that's the question all right so let's take a look at our pair of corresponding congruent sides that parts that are given here in this diagram now if you notice um, we have uh, the assumption here is that these are two intersecting lines so these are vertical angles so we can just conclude that these two angles are congruent because vertical angles are congruent. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? We have this angle corresponds to this angle on this triangle. And then what comes next? We have an angle. All right, so what orientation are we going? Are we going counterclockwise? Or are we going clockwise? You notice we had an A on the left and then an A on the right. So in this case, we're going counterclockwise. Okay. So we're going counterclockwise, AA. So we want to follow exactly the same pattern in this triangle. We're going counterclockwise too. So you have angle, angle here. Also, you have angle, angle. All right. Now, what do we have next? Going in this counterclockwise orientational rotation, we have a side, A angle angle side 
And then in this triangle, we have angle, angle, side. Is AAS a valid conclusion to show that two triangles are congruent? Absolutely. These two triangles are congruent. How do you know that they're congruent? This is based on the angle, angle, side. Let's just write it out. Angle, angle, side, congruency, postulate. Okay? AAS is valid. Okay, number four. What do we have here? Uh, let's just start with this side, okay? So we'll start with side. So in this triangle, we have side. Alrighty? Side, angle, side. You see the direction? In this case, we're going counterclockwise. We have side, angle, side. If you look at the second triangle, this side right here corresponds to this side. So we have side, and then we must follow the same orientation. This is extremely important. We have side, and then we have angle and side. So these two angles are corresponding, they're congruent. These two sides are corresponding, they're congruent. These two sides are corresponding, they're congruent, and they're going in exactly the same order. So we have SAS. Can we conclude that they are congruent? So we certainly can. So they are congruent. How do we know? Based on the side, angle, side, congruency postulate. Okay. Let's take a look at one more example. All right, let's take a look at number five. Now we have two triangles that are given to us here. So are these two triangles congruent? Let's go ahead and see if it matches any of the four congruency um, postulates that we presented earlier. So we have here side and a side. The orientation is clearly counterclockwise. And then here we have side and a side, the same counterclockwise orientation. Is SS sufficient to show congruency? The answer is no. We do not have enough information. Okay? So not enough information. We need more information to, to show that these two triangles are congruent. So we can't say that they are congruent based on the information that we have. Okay? All right, now it's your turn to try out some practice problems. So we have uh, six triangles here, the same instruction as previous. Try to show if they are congruent. If they are, state why they are congruent using one of the four congruency postulates. So we'll give you time to pause this video presentation and work on these six problems. When you're done, click on the play button and we will uh, display what the correct answers are. So let me correction number five these are congruency these are 90 degree angles and the assumption here is that these are two intersecting lines which makes these two vertical angles which are congruent okay all righty welcome back hopefully you had a chance to try out the practice problems let's take a look at um what the answers are for number one these two triangles are congruent and the reason is side 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 uh, these two sides here are the same size, so they're congruent. Number two, the answer is they are congruent. Okay, side, angle, side. So number two is SAS. Number three, we have angle, side, AS, AS. What on earth is that? That's none of the congruency um, postulates. So we have not enough info, not enough information to show, to conclude that the triangles are congruent. Here we have um, angle side angle, ASA absolutely, congruent by ASA congruency postulate. Number five, we have the assumption that these, based on the configuration, these two angles are congruent. So we have angle angle side, AAS congruent, absolutely angle angle side and number six this is a tricky one number six this triangle right here this is an asa triangle okay but this triangle right here is an ssa triangle 
So following the order, they don't even match, okay? So are these two triangles congruent? We have not enough information. So um, number six highlights the importance of following the orientation. So we have angle, side, angle going in the clockwise configuration. And then it will follow the same pattern here. What do you notice we have? We have side. Okay, we notice we're rotating uh, clockwise. So you don't go down. You actually have to go clockwise. So starting from side, like this is your nine o'clock. You don't go down. You go up to 12 o'clock, right? I'm sorry, nine to 12. So nine to 12. So side, side, angle. So following this orientation, you see that this triangle is an SSA triangle. This is an ASA triangle. They do not match, so we do not have enough information to show that um, they're congruent. And something else to keep in mind is that SSA can never be used. We talked about that. You could use SSS. You could use SAS. You could use ASA or AAS. These are the four congruency postulates, but you cannot use um, AAA or SSA. These are no-nos, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, how well did you do in this practice problem set? Let us know your score in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or clarifications, just let us know, and we'll be more than glad to assist you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial, helpful in your studies of geometry do give us a like or a thumbs up your positive feedback is extremely valuable to us do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great geometry tutorials such as this tons of support resources can be found on math.serve.com do check it out thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye